bucket three. Twenty-three. Well this as it stands obviously is the mould and we don't need, we no longer need any of the structural support that, you, that was in here, it's not needed now. Um, what I've left in are the intended structural bulkheads for the, for the trip. So I've just braced them back up in the same way that they were. Okay so this is exactly the layout that my original set of plans depicted. Then, yesterday, the skipper got a chance to look at what was going on and actually appreciate the space because I'd taken out all the supports when they were building the mould. And it gave them their first sort of real view of what potentially three months inside here was going to be like. And um, they didn't like it. So it was tweaked a little bit and yesterday, evening Skipper was happy. This morning um, I get a new plan which everyone the Skipper saw first thing this morning and everyone's happy again. And then I'm out gone for an hour or two and I come back and Joe and Dave are in here both not happy. So, um, you know, it's, uh, that's where we're at really and they, they basically, really importantly, everybody wants their own bunk. At the moment in this configuration there are four proper bunks and two, you know, any bunks in the dinette. So it's not actually a personal space and, and I think for the three months away it's really cool for everyone to have their own, own space, which I can totally see. And, and, and tell me, what job were you doing before you came here to San Francisco? What job was I doing? Training horses, yeah, which I still do as well. And um, yeah, and really just getting involved with uh, anything that I can possibly do that's practical. And what's your favourite horse called? Uh, that would be, uh, I'd actually, that's a difficult one. I've got several favourite horses. Probably uh, Roman Nose. Roman Nose is a good old favourite of mine. Definitely.